Hi everyone, it's Lima with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today with an exciting haul video. I actually went to an estate sale and this estate sale was by appointment only, which I never do because I would rather be there when there's a lot of people. Um, not during COVID of course, but at an estate sale in general because um, when there's a lot going on, it's better, it's easier to get a good deal. And um, this sale was by appointment only, but I decided to go because it was really close to my house and I am so glad I went. Um, everyone was wearing masks, of course, and there were only like, I think two other customers there, like, a couple and a guy with his dad something like that but there were very few people in the house and I was there for a long time because it turned out that this was the right sale to go to there were so many things there vintage um, just the kinds of things that we look for and I'm so glad I went to the sale I got a lot of stuff and hopefully it's gonna fit into one video, um, but there might be a part two. My battery is also running out of um, battery, <laughs> so if the video cuts off, I'm gonna come back with part two. And also, if, you, if you've never seen my video on how to get a good deal at an estate sale, I think it's called 12 Tips or something like that for an estate sale, um, I will link that down below. All right, so they had a lot of magazines and this lady was definitely a collector. Well, not a lot, a lot of magazines, but she kept everything really organized. She had all these magazines in her nightstand and they were just in there really neatly organized and they must have been there since the 70s. Um, so this is from 1977. It is a McCall's magazine. It was originally 95 cents. And this is, I usually try to get things that are a little bit more vintage, but I feel like this was, like once you look inside, it's very, it's really 70s. So that's why I ended up getting all these magazines. Just love that ad right there. And I think some of my next journals, um, they will be vintage retro. So I'm definitely gonna be able to use some of these images. I'm gonna be making um, retro sewing journals. That's a great ad right there for pantyhose. Um, retro sewing journals. So I think some of them will be from the 70s and this magazine is gonna be perfect. All right, so there's that. And she kept her stuff pretty nice like everything was stored well this is from 1971 um, I don't know who she is but this is originally 75 cents these are pretty cool images and if some of them I hope that was okay to show <laughs> If some of them, this is cosmopolitan. Um, if some of these images are not, if they're not um, vintage looking enough, I would love to use these in a glue book as well. Maybe I'll do like a vintage glue book or something. That's really cool. 
I think this would go perfect in my in a sewing journal that is great makeup right there love that this is um, from 1978 and it's journal magazine these seem like the way they sound they seem water damaged but they're actually not I think it's just age these coupons I'm a big couponer um, so I love seeing coupons and I remember back then they oh, well this one does have an expiration date but lots of coupons from back in the day they do not have expiration dates another coupon right there I'm a Calls magazine from 1978. This one has Carol Burnett on the cover. Another journal magazine. More coupons. I love coupons. I love these too. I don't think I've, I have a magazine with these types of inserts. A family circle magazine from 1968 this is perfect for right now for a Christmas magazine love these ads this is so cool like this I probably wouldn't use in a junk journal but I would definitely use something like this in a glue book this would be perfect for a sewing journal I think Another journal magazine from 1974. This is LA Times 1974. It's kind of hard to see that, but it's one of those huge magazines. And I love these types of pages. And it's not the glossy type. It's more like newsprint, but there's color too. I love that kind of look. Do you guys remember Thrifty's drugstore before it became Rite Aid? Love that drawing right there. And this one right here. This is a Better Homes and Gardens magazine it's oversized as well and it's from 1971 so awesome another better homes and garden magazine this one from 1970 and this one with Jacqueline Smith on the cover Jacqueline Smith at age 30. 30. Nowadays, 30 would seem so young, but I think back then it didn't seem quite as young. Um, this is from 1978. More coupons. I love those. She looks young here, though. All right. Have a little stack left to go of just the magazines all right this is a women's day magazine the cover is falling apart it's from 1968 but it's kind of nice when things are falling apart because it's easier to use in my opinion
That is really 70s to me, this ad right here. All right, another Woman's Day magazine from 1970. Super awesome, this picture right here. This is an interesting um, ad. It says, early apartment dwellers had to live with flames. Does, are they trying to make it look like cavemen days? I'm not sure. Love this back cover. Women's Day magazine from 1970. Just looking at these pictures, it feels like life was so different back then. That's a cool one. Family Circle from 1971, Woman's Day from 1972, McCall's from 1978, Red Book from, it says February here, but there aren't, there's no year, oh, 1970. This is a great, Page. This is from 1973, British Columbia, is it a magazine or does it tell about the area? This would actually be good for a glue book in my opinion. I don't know if I would put any of these in a junk journal. I think it'd be great for a blue book. All right, so I thought these magazines were pretty cool. Um, like I said before, I usually buy a lot older magazines, but I think that's pretty good. Let's go with books next. And I found a decent amount of books. So I think this is how it's gonna go. I'll go through the books. And then I will go through the sewing patterns I found, as well as the, um, what do you call it? As well as the fabrics in the second video. All right, so I found this book. It's, it looks like it's a children's book. I liked the cover. I liked the end papers. And this was copyright 1961. I like these pages too. It's very yellowed. This is a children's textbook type thing. Um, cut the cover is very cool. This is copyright. The latest is 1957, but I think the pictures are from 1936. But love that. These are my favorite kind of children's books. Absolute favorite. And then I found this just because I remember it from when I was a kid and I thought it would be fun to read again. This is copyright 1965, but I think it was written in 1937. Another um, textbook, it's a reader. It's, I did not realize it was a Dick and Jane book. The new fun with Dick and Jane. I don't think I really have a Dick and Jane book. I might have a reproduction, but I do not have a Dick and Jane book. And I didn't even realize that. This is a 1956 edition. I'm so excited. I'm so glad I found this. 
That is super awesome. Wow. All right, I think that might be my favorite find. This is a little golden book, but it's paperback and the hands of the clock are missing. Or maybe not. I think the hands are only supposed to go in here. But of course I got it just because these pictures are adorable. All right, so my battery is running out right now. So I think I'm gonna cut the video off right here and I will come back and continue with the books and go on to the fabrics. Um, I hope you're enjoying this haul. It was a really fun one to go to. And if you liked this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you next time very soon because I'm going to do part two right after this. All right. Bye, everyone.